I'm Ashley McDonald, and I'm the Public Information Officer with Murfreesboro Fire and Rescue. Our firefighters have a very tough job, and today I'm putting myself in their boots to see just how tough it is on Adventures in Firefighting. Oh, I'm sorry, I got distracted wearing this big fancy vest, but actually I'm here at fire station number six to learn how to flow some hydrants. So I've got Captain Kurt McMahon here. I'd like to introduce you to him. He's gonna be walking me through the process. We actually do this annually at the fire department. Hi Kurt, thank you for joining us. Thank you. So first of all, why do we have to wear these big, bright, fancy yellow vests? Well, it's a safety feature. All of our hydrants are located on the side of our street, so you're gonna be right in the vicinity of traffic. So we wanna make sure everybody can see it. All right, today we're gonna to be using what's called a hydrant wrench. Okay. We're gonna be using what's called a cap gauge. Okay. And we're gonna be using what's called an elbow to direct our stream. And then when we finish our process, we're gonna use some WD-40 to lube up our threads. Okay, so I guess walk me through the process. Okay. And um, I'll try to do everything that you tell me to do. All right, first thing we need to do, we need to get a static pressure, which is okay. how much pressure is on this at a rest. So I need you to take that wrench and take the cap gauge off. Okay. And I'm assuming which direction to go. There you go. <laughs> Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Okay. Um, okay. You can probably turn it with your hand now. Yeah, probably because it's very loose. Okay. And do you take it all the way all off? All the way off. Okay. Now let's put our cap gauge on there. Okay. And it just screws on? Correct. Uh huh. Okay, and is this like a standard cap gauge that fire fire departments use it to is. flow? It, it is. Okay. Now give that a good snug. Now take your hydrant wrench and open the stem okay. about. Go to the lefty loosey, righty tighty. That's righty. Let's oh, I'm over. sorry. That's okay. <laughs> Now you're going to meet resistance here in just a second. Okay. Now there yep. you go. Work through that. Now, I'm going to watch your cap gauge. Okay. Tell me if you need some help. I think I can get it. I do work out. I don't look like I do, but I do. <laughs> you're doing fine. Okay. Let me see your wrench just a second. Okay. A bad gas in. All right, now look at your gauge and see what it reads. Okay, it's about 70. All right, now I'm just going to bleed a little bit of the air off of it. Okay. All right, now that is your static pressure. Okay. So when we're filling out our form, we would put 70 on the that static. That is correct. Okay. Uh -huh. Now close your, close your hydrant back off. Wait. Let your Lucy right tight. <laughs> 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 but it's backward when you're looking at it differently, so. That's my excuse anyway. Now, I'll take it all the way down and then back off just a half a turn. Okay. Now, we're going to bleed our pressure off. Okay, now your gauge is on zero, right? It is. Okay, now take your hydrant wrench and let's take this one off. Okay. We're going to get a flow reading. Oops. <laughs> Y'all don't judge me with my directions. I don't math and I don't math and I don't do directions. Now you can get, it. yeah. Okay. Now we're going to place our elbow on. I'll help with this. Wonder why they call it an elbow. <laughs> <laughs> now this is where we're going to direction our water. And when we open the hydrant all the way up, we're going to take a reading and that's going to be our residual. Now, this is where it gets a little tough because it's going to get real loud. Okay. Take that and you have to open it all the way up and I'll tell you when you, re when you get there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Lefty loosey, righty tight. Am I going right or left? No, you're going the wrong way. <laughs> 
<laughs> just tell me from now on which okay. way to go. Don't say left and right. Just say you're doing it wrong or you're doing it right. <laughs> now you're going to start getting water in just a minute. Am I going to get wet? <laughs> you probably will get a little bit wet. Okay. If you need assistance, let me know. Well, let me walk. Yeah, you want to walk around it. <laughs> it is tight. Now, let me help you through this part. Okay. We'll take the, you take that off and I'll take the cap okay. lead, y'all. Okay. Now we'll. And now what's the purpose of doing that? This is to keep the threads loosened so they don't bind up. That way when we come here, they won't be locked on there. Okay. Now hand me your hydrant wrench. Let's see. Now, put that cap back on for me. Now, we also want to put some on this steamer. And what's the purpose of this steamer? Is that where, what part do you hook up to in, in a fire? That would be the steamer. Okay. That goes straight into the pump or the pumper. Okay. And we do this annually correct so now that i know how to flow the hydrants and that i know that we do that annually can you tell me a little bit about why we do that sure of course first and foremost is for fire protection we want to make sure we do have water uh, second all is going to be for our iso rating we want to make sure that we have the right amount of water and we want to make sure that their maintenance everything's working right on them we don't want any problems with them sometimes they they do mess up they stick and sometimes they have to be repaired so when they're turned in for repairs, who actually takes care of those repairs? That's going to be the responsibility of water department or the CUD department. Okay, so either Consolidator or Murfreesboro That's Water correct. and Sewer. So when a citizen finds that there's an issue with a hydrant, like say they have one in their yard and some somebody has hit it or something like that, they don't need to call the fire department, they actually need to call the water department. That is correct. They would call okay. either City Water or Consolidated Utility. Okay, because that's a common misconception. And I know is. admin gets it a lot is. of phone calls about that. So thank you, Kurt, so much for being here with us today, walking me through the process of the hydrant flowing. And also, thank you for letting us know why we do that. We really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Now that was some kind of workout. It's more challenging than it looks, especially if you're directionally challenged. Remember, if you notice a hydrant that's damaged or leaking, contact the respective water department. And Lefty Lucy, righty tighty. But actually I'm here at fire station number six and I'm gonna be learning how to flow some hydrants. This, I'm gonna, and I'm here at fire station number six. Yes, we are.